So the whistleblower comes forward and says, they tied this guy's hands. The, Merrick Garland was tying this guy's hands. And then you have Merrick Garland coming out and saying, that's a lie. He told Congress under oath in March, Merrick Garland did, that he had empowered David Weiss to do everything and anything. Here's that testimony. It's important because it's under oath and it's probably going to come back to haunt him. Here's Merrick Garland in March. This indicate that the Justice Department and the FBI had at one time over a dozen sources that provided potentially criminal information relating to Hunter Biden. Um, so as the committee well knows from my confirmation hearing, I promise uh, to leave, I promised to leave the matter of Hunter Biden in the hands of the U.S. Attorney uh, for the District of Delaware, who was appointed uh, in the previous administration. So any information like that should have gone uh, or should or should have uh, gone to that U.S. Attorney's offices and the FBI squad that's working uh, with him. I have pledged not to interfere uh, with that investigation, and I uh, have carried through on my pledge. I pledge not to interfere. Now, that is not at all what the whistleblower is saying happened here. He's saying that David Weiss was shut down at every turn by Merrick Garland's U.S. attorneys and other jurisdictions saying, I'm not touching it, I won't do it. And that that stopped the investigation, among other ways in which he alleges Merrick Garland interfered. Here's the second thing. Merrick Garland comes out on Friday to respond to the whistleblower. And here's what he said. Mr. Weiss, who was appointed by President Trump as the U.S. Attorney in Delaware and assigned this matter during the previous administration, would be permitted to continue his investigation and to make a decision to prosecute any way in which he wanted to and in any district in which he wanted to. The only person with authority to make somebody a special counsel or refuse to make somebody a special counsel is the Attorney General. Mr. Weiss never made that request to me. The whistleblower alleges, alleges the opposite, that Weiss told him he had asked to be labeled special counsel so he could just bring the charges everywhere, it wouldn't be limited to Delaware, and that Merrick Garland denied the request. There's a clear divergence between what the whistleblower is saying, what Merrick Garland is saying, and the New York Times is now uh, reporting that uh, they too can confirm this IRS investigator's testimony uh, is absolutely at odds with what Merrick Garland said. They've done their own investigations um, of the whistleblower's claims and also confirming here that David Weiss uh, went to at least two other U.S. attorneys, one in California, one in Washington, asking if they would bring charges that they would help with the investigation against Hunter, and he was turned down. So what happens now? Because there's been talk by Kevin McCarthy of possible impeachment proceedings against Merrick Garland. Um, and I'll tee up one other soundbite for you, Rick, and that is Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz, who went so far as to say if this whistleblower's claims are actually true, and the New York Times now advancing it, saying we, we see the same divergence in testimonials here, um, there should be absolute penalties to Merrick Garland. Here's Ted Cruz two, a couple days ago. Every word he said there is a lie and the self-righteousness with which he says it, Ben, I gotta say it's time. It is time the Department of Justice needs to appoint a special counsel to investigate Merrick Garland for obstruction of justice and perjury. Wow. There's a reason He's saying, don't ask these questions. Let's be clear, it is his integrity. And I wanna walk through it because that is a very serious state, statement. But at this point, the evidence that Merrick Garland personally committed multiple felonies is growing greater and greater. And the chances that the Merrick Garland Justice Department will fairly investigate evidence of his wrongdoing are zero. Wow asking for criminal charges, saying we need a special counsel to investigate the Attorney General of the United States for crimes, including obstruction of justice and perjury in connection with this case. So what do you make of all of it? Well, first of all, two quick points. One, thanks for uh, Senator Grassley and his team. They are phenomenal. They are digging deep. I know personally that they are doing really good detailed work before they come out with charges. So thanks to them. Secondly, I, I'm really struck, Megan, with, uh, you know, we talk a lot about the two uh, tiers of justice, 
uh, this two standards of justice in Washington, D.C., but I'm struck with the, the two differences in how leaks happen in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Look what CNN did all day yesterday. We don't even know uh, what the outcome of this Donald Trump investigation is on uh, the classified information uh, charges. But they're already leaking before we have any charges, before the finality. They are leaking information. CNN seems to get it all the time. Yeah. Uh, to kind of spin before we let the justice kind of system uh, move forward. Contrary to that, you got to give it to this whistleblower. He waited. He waited until the charges were filed. He waited to see. Uh, he didn't try to weigh in beforehand and, and push the process. He did exactly what he's supposed to do, which is become a whistleblower after there is an outcome that seems to be a problem. He didn't go out and leak beforehand. I think we've got to ask ourselves, why are leaks in Washington, D.C. from the bureaucracy always trying to slam against uh, Republicans before justice is delivered or before what seems to be the process is finished? And, and so I, I want to point that out because I think it's really relevant to the whistleblower's credibility. Uh, mm -hmm. The second, uh, the third point that I would say is I disagree with Ted Cruz a little bit of no more special counsels. I mean, if, if he lied, let's look at the evidence and let's have Congress step up and do something. Let's impeach him. Let's hold him to account. But, you know, a special counsel means a whole bunch of more money for the U.S. taxpayer. It means a whole bunch of more time and Justice delayed. I, I'm so sick and tired of justice delayed. Uh, we've got to get to the point where if we're going to lecture other countries on the rule of law, that we got to clean up our rule of law. I'm, I'm sick and tired of having justice delayed because it's really justice denied. Look at the Durham report. Look what they did to, to Trump multiple times. Uh, you've got to ask yourself, why do they keep coming after Trump constantly? But then you see the Biden family completely get away with a whole bunch. So How, uh, I'd like they... to see Congress step up and move a little bit quicker than just appointing another investigation. How would they even appoint a special counsel to investigate the attorney general of the United States when it's the attorney general's job to appoint special counsels? Like that's how you get a special counsel is the AG has to appoint him or her, which is not going to happen from Merrick Garland to investigate himself. So you're right. I mean, I'd love to add, ask Ted Cruz that. I'll ask him when he comes on soon. But um, you're right that the most fruitful means of exposing what's happening in this whole lane thus far has proven to be those, those House Republicans. And Comer, the guy on the, who heads up the Oversight Committee, has been saying, same as you, no more special counsels for any of this because all they do is take the ball, hide the ball, manage to keep everybody from being able to talk to Congress because they can just say, oh, it's being handled by the special counsel. And then they bury things at the end. So Comer so far has proven very adept at getting us the information that's out there. Yeah, look, politicians in Washington, D.C. have got to move away from just voting, showing up and voting and then fundraising and saying, oh, look what I did. I voted on something and take their responsibility of oversight a little more seriously. When you have responsibility for oversight, then you got to use the power of subpoenas and you've got to get to the bottom and you've got to call it out and vote on an actual action. So impeachment or censorship or something, give us action. I don't want to see this process uh, kind of you know, continue on, continue on. That's the ways of Washington. But one other point, um, just because I know Washington, D.C., and I know the swamp pretty well, um, there there is a system in place where if you get appointed to a job by somebody, you have to remember that they're writing your annual review, <laughs> those people. And so the only way that you move up in Washington is to get a good annual review Please your bosses, don't rock the boat too much, um, get rewarded with a bigger office, a bigger title, and more money on the GS scale. And so no career person is going to try to investigate their bosses uh, because Washington, D.C. bureaucrats are filled with a bunch of fear that they are going to not be able to be promoted. Junk science. 
That's what the doctor called many of those fruit and vegetable supplements on the market. Junk science because they use extracts of common produce department fruits and vegetables with few health benefits. But I want to tell you about Field of Greens. Field of Greens is different. They use whole organic fruits and vegetables, not a watered-down supplement. And it's backed by a better health promise, which I'm going to tell you about. Each ingredient in Field of Greens was scientifically chosen to support vital organs like heart, lungs, kidney health. Others support your immune system, blood pressure, metabolism, and healthy weight loss. Their better better health promise is simple. The next time you're at a doctor for a checkup, if the doctor does not say, you're looking healthier than before, you will get your money back. How about that? That's a deal right there. So let me get you started with 15% off. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use my promo code MK. That's promo code MK at fieldofgreens.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.